Hi, I'm Marty. And I'm Hannah. And, and this, this is our van. van. So some of the amenities that we tried to put together in the van, we have a cooking pantry, jet boil, other stuff, etc. Seasonings. We have a, a cooking area that folds down that we can cook with our camp stove here for cooking standard meals or even uh, boil and bag meals, dehydrated. We have an area over here that works for housekeeping so that we can clean things sets up so that we've got all this stuff handy <clears throat> works out really well uh, it all hangs on the doors structurally sound uh, we've got a gear locker here that as luck would have it basically clears on the inside we have some other amenities here that we really like to demonstrate we've got sliding doors for gear storage here and a little pantry storage up here keep the food away from the dog saves on space because when you're traveling obviously this is all full of debris got some pull outs that we can cook on in cold weather there's another access opening to the locker from the side here we've determined before when we have the motorcycle on the back we can't get in we have some drawers here for storage nice full pull out hardware uh, beds that are uh, Spartan indeed, but they work for Hannah and I. We're both fairly diminutive, so we can crawl in there and get a good night's sleep, which is great when it's rainy or in climate conditions and we're boating. It's way handier than setting up a tent. Uh, we feel that overall the van is uh, kind of a cross between Spartan RVing and luxury backpacking. Excuse me. Uh, we've cut in a vent here so that we can get some great uh, air. We've got a winter or cold weather. Uh, it's just foam set up so that we can insulate it. So behind our board storage here in the van, easily just unhook the board. Slide it out of the way. Stash behind that, we have my mobile desktop here. So this folding table was custom made by Marty. Fold it out, sits up perfectly in the aisle. Take down the camp chair from the Yakima box and I can work remotely right here from the van. All right, so in addition to our wonderful bunk beds here, we also have these window coverings inspired by our friend Chad Lindgren. Ooh, Chad. It's, uh, kind of this bubble uh, insulated reflectix gotten from Home Depot. And then it was glued to a piece of landscape fabric, courtesy of Landscapes by Child's Play. Thanks, brother. Uh, so we just glued them together. I cut the cut them to fit the window, so we just stick them up in the window. If, uh, if it's hot out, we need to reflect the sun, we put the reflective side out. If it's cold and we want to sleep at night, we put the black side out, and it also helps uh, keep in a little bit of heat and blocks out all the light so we can sleep. Speaking of sleep, ah, it's time for a little nap here, so let's slip off my shoes. What kind of shoes are those, Hannah? So I got my Astral Brewer shoes, Brew S. They're really nice. You make that look pretty easy. Crawl right up here, I get top bunk. Snug as a bug in a, a, a van, I guess. Uh, yeah. Night, Bella. After a wonderful night's rest in the van, tuck all our sleeping gear back in. We have this wonderful cargo net kind of helps keep our sleeping bags in place um, when I tend to bring a lot of boards to the to the play park I tend to bring a whole whole bunch of my bad fish boards and there's not enough room to hang them on the side so we'll actually stack them on our bed and the cargo net keeps them in place so thinking about gear and gear storage with the van I have a bunch of uh, stainless steel uh, D-rings that are welded into the frame or into the structure of the van so that they're very secure. Uh, we've got them on the wall. They're also hooked in. They're great for board storage. We've got a series of them in the van. We've got easy access to the factory jack and stuff in the event that we have problems. We have used it a couple times. Um, 
I've got some door hold opens. They're just a simple device that, you know, a wooden piece that wedges in to keep the doors from blowing shut. It scares the dog. It's not good for me either. So, uh, also we have with the drawers, we've got, I've got a little locker space for myself here. Hannah's got a little locker up here. This uh, compartment under here is where all the battery componentry is. Uh, it's other rudimentary storage. This has three 12 volt AGM uh, gel batteries. So uh, it works for everything that we need. We've had about 10 different access points around the van that either have a, uh, like a cigarette lighter or a uh, USB port. So it's pretty handy for uh, phones, etc. We've got uh, a rumble seat here, real handy for not having to crawl around on your knees so I can put my shoes on. Uh, we've got uh, part of our pantry storage apparatus here for fresh water underneath here. Just made it so that it was the right size, it all fits. You can open everything up even when the van's closed up. Inside what we have on the outside here, I have a spot on the door that clears everything. This is all our locking stuff, cables, etc., to keep boats and gear happy. I have a spot here for our hitch mate. Uh, those of you that are uh, vertically challenged like Hannah and I, this was a great gift that we have that pops out and you can hang it over the rear tire so that we can access things. We have an exterior solar shower that has a fill valve, a cap rather, and a Schrader valve that you can add some top pressure to. I just do it with a really standard little uh, slime pump. It's something you can fill up your tires with. I put a remote uh, or wired uh, on off switch so that you can keep some top pressure on it. It works really good for uh, when you're out. We have about eight gallons of storage. Um, it goes around the course of the van, comes over to this side that has a right angle uh, uh, valve shut off that we just hook a short segment of hose up to. On the racks themselves, I have a shower curtain set up that you can set on it so that uh, you can have a little bit of privacy and hopefully not shock all the people that are around you. So uh, it's been a great amenity. Whenever we go out west, we're always really keen on how precious water is. So we've made week long trips with only an eight gallon segment. Granted, that's a spritzing at best, but it's still really appreciated. So some of the other gear considerations on here, we've made a rudimentary access to the top of the van, which I'll talk about here in a minute. We also have uh, a trailer hitch that's set up. This is a 2500, so we have plenty of, of weight. I've also added on a segment here that's for our Moto Tote carrier so that we can haul our uh, Yamaha XT250 on. Great for self-shuttling. Hannah has another video about that you might want to reference. So the other thing back here you'll see I've uh, crafted some handy dandy mud flaps. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind about mud flaps, they're not for how your vehicle looks, it's for hopefully helping out your fellow people on the road, keep from throwing rocks and stuff. Um, anyway, I'm gonna head up the ladder here and talk about a few other things up top. So on top of our van here, we have boat storage. We can fit two play boats and two creek boats up here. Marty has built this really nice catwalk for me to walk on so I can access both sides of the van safely without walking on the van roof. Moving up here to the front of the van, we have a gear storage rack. Uh, we put all our wet gear up here. It's really handy to have. It's also handy if we want to throw an extra paddle board up here, or surfboard, or extra cooler. Uh, or the unicycle helps too. Uh, we have this wonderful Yakaba box that we got from our local outfitter Crawdaddy Outdoors. Fits all our paddles, camping chairs, drying rack, shower gear, all sorts of stuff. That thing is super, super handy. The play boats here fit on the passenger side of the vehicle and they fit on this side because they're short enough that the vent fan will still fully function and open, which is super handy. Creek books go on the driver's side. So just a few amenities up in the cab too, small but really important. We made some visor storage area. Man, it's really great, works well. Got some coat racks back here. Also, uh, one of Hannah's great ideas, we took some old pillowcases and made them so that you could hang them on the backs of the seat and you can store stuff in them. We have uh, screens for the summertime so that we can open up the van and they just, we Velcroed them on here so that they'll fit right over the windows. Works out great, keeps the bugs out. And uh, 
I think that's the vast majority of it. We have a, another plug-in station up here along with their uh, PureSine wave inverter. Uh, this was part of our whole battery system that thanks to my friend Mike Epker. Uh, thanks Mike, shout out to you. Great job with all the electrical thanks, Mike. work. And uh, real quick what it is, looks like under the hood. Mike did a spectacular job of all the wiring. So it was pretty involved, way more complicated than what I could have done. It's been in for a couple years, functioning well, working great. So after a big day on the river here, we've eaten supper here, cooked it ourselves in the back of John Claude, super handy as you saw the cooking apparatus back there. Now for the fun part, we get up here to the in-home van theater. This van has served us very well, continues to work really well for us, and uh, we did it pretty much on a budget. Uh, I mean, it strained it, but it's still a budget. Uh, anyway, uh, Hannah wanted me to make sure and make mention, our van has perhaps what we've been told, one of the most unique van names people like to name their vehicles. I stumbled upon this one and it seems very fitting. I refer to our van as Jean-Claude because every time I was working on it, frustrated underneath it, I would say, that damn van. So its name is Jean-Claude Damn Van. I don't think there's any copyright issues with that, so. So we bought this van uh, at a pretty decent price, had a lot of mileage on it. It's been a very well-functioning, good van for us. We have had made some major improvements and we've had some major problems. Uh, transmission this last year, those have been rem remedied. Uh, some of the groundwork uh it did have some rust on the rockers i've mostly masked that uh, i think it's been a successful fix with some sheet metal um so anyway uh we've also added a few other amenities like we put some led headlights in it that are quite an improvement for when you're out at night in some dark campground in a state where you don't know where you're at so handy well worth the money couple hundred bucks mm -hmm. 